Hey people, good morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Guys, disclaimer on this video, this is my opinion only. I can't read and I don't know what I'm talking about. So due to this video's poor uh, quality and poor information, I recommend that nobody watches this video. Your distraction is advised. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about all of what's been happening and we've been covering it on and off in New Zealand. We have mainly covered this on Mike in the Night because it's kind of important, um, because we could actually speak a little bit more freely on other platforms. You could find us on Odyssey if you want to find out our live call-in show. If you want to find our live call-in show and you potentially want to call into the show and give us an update on what's going on on your neck of the woods. So what do I see happening? Uh, wastewater. Wastewater is going to be the next culprit, or they're going to claim that wastewater will be the next major thing across every English-speaking country and probably parts of America too, they're going to claim or blame the wastewater for all the sudden adult death syndromes or things that are happening around the world that we're not allowed to talk about or report. Anyways, you like that wink there, right? So yesterday in the comments section uh, on the channel, I reported with you guys what was happening in New Zealand. And there's the update right there. That's what's happening in the hospital and ICU. Now, the Prime Minister is stepping down, and something's going on down there. Something's going down in New Zealand. So I got a lot of people message me, give me an update, or explain to me what's going on down there. So I've led to this. So a uh, wastewater test suggests it uh, suggests peak of wave has passed. Now they're blaming the wastewater, and that's why I say they're going to create a wastewater um around the world issue around the world because that's what they're I think they're going to connect the dots because New Zealand and Australia is the testing ground for all this stuff and we talked about that for 10 years on the channel so and there it is the wave right there and uh Otago and Southland remain sub uh, sub substantially underreported so there it is right there there it is right there and then you go so that is 25th of July now move over to 26th of July and now they're telling us that basically it's underreported and could this be the 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 boogeyman or the answer they're looking for to fill the gap of what's happening all over the world because we're not allowed to talk about it and i'm not this is just my opinion i'm just trying to connect the dots to figure out so contaminated water could it be coming to canada could it be coming could it be coming uh, to to Australia could it be coming to other places as of of the fill the void of what's really realistically happening at, at a grander or higher level I, I don't know I'm just throwing this out there I don't know what I'm talking about I can't even read you were told not to watch this video that's just me you guys tell me what you guys think because I can't really form an opinion on here and tell you guys what I think but Connect the dots, and I could see this becoming an um, international problem, right? Uh, and that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.